Yeah. C and Shay. Fight. Let's go. Woo! I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm fighting just to make it through. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm fighting just to make it through. I've been down for so long. I forgot how it feels to be up. And I've been fighting so hard.
Look what it said. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. People of God, hear this word that the Lord had already spoken to you. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. I'm not just talking to one individual, but I'm going to deal with you as a whole. Mm. Against the whole family of the earth that I brought from Egypt. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said, you're the only one I know of all the earth. And listen, everybody who is saved belongs to God. God is saying, you only have I known. God really don't know sinners. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And because you are saved, and because you love God, mm -hmm. God is saying, I've been trying to get you to do something, but you ain't done it yet. And because you have not done it, I'm going to punish you. I'm going to chastise you for all your iniquity, your sins. Uh huh. Can two walk together except they be agreed? How can two walk together except they agree? How can husband and wife get along if they don't agree with each other? One want chicken for dinner and the other want hog food. Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, a comparison. Lord have mercy. They don't agree with that. I don't want that, but I want this. Read. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? When a lion roar in the forest when he have nothing to eat, a lion roar when he gets his food. Mm. Mm -hmm. He sneaks up on you. If, he ain't out there roaring. He's trying to get something. <laughs> but he roar when he gets something. Come on. Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? And the young baby lion, they, they, they get full. They'll cry out, Ow! even though they can't roar yet. Because the, the, the mama or the baby or the daddy lion done brought them something to eat. They have taken something. Mm. But if they're hungry, you ain't going to have them say nothing. Mm -mm. Come on. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth? Can where, a bird get caught in a crap from the earth? Where no gin is for him. Where no crap is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shall one take up a snare from the earth? Can one take up a crap from the earth? And have taken nothing at all? You set your crap, you're going to catch something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall somebody blow a trumpet in the city? And the people not be afraid? If you don't get afraid, you hear a sound out there right now. Oh, everybody, wonder what happened. <laughs> Hurricane or somebody. Something, something. Hey, man, can a city, you hear a sound, it means something. Mm -hmm. Come on. Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord had not done it? Mm. Let my that God, soak. My God, my God. My Shall God. there be ah, evil yeah, yeah, yeah. in a God. city mm. and the Lord hadn't done it? Mm. Mm. Uh huh. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. God ain't going to do nothing unless he first tells you he's going to do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. God reveal what he's going to do through his prophets, yes. Yes. through his preacher. Yes. That's why it's important for you to hear preaching, and that's why it's important for the preacher to be sent. Amen. By God and not by himself. Yes, amen. All right. Eighth verse. Last verse on that. The lion has roared. The lion is full. Who will not fear? You better get scared because he's strong now. The Lord God has spoken. The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Whatever God has spoken, it's going to be prophesied. My, 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 my. The Lord has spoken. Just for the subject, before we read our remaining scripture today, can you put it on the screen? The Lord has spoken right here in this place. Oh my God. Ah, yeah. mm. Mm. And I want to tell you before we read the other scripture what he's spoken. I told you that the Lord said in 2020 yeah. there must be repentance. Yes. 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 
And if you don't repent, swift damnation, there will be a loss of death. That was the first of the year message that the Lord revealed to me. And I'm not bragging. He spoke and revealed the message to me for 2020 for you all. How many of you can be a witness that it is coming to pass? I'm not happy about it, but I'm telling you, the Lord got full and tired of hypocrites. He done got full and tired of folk claiming to be right, but still sinning. The Lord has spoken. I read to you on New Year night that what John the Baptist said. That the axe is laid at the foot of the tree. Therefore, bring fruit for repentance. And if you don't bring fruit for repentance, you shall be hewed down and cast into the fire. How many were here? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. Let's go to our next scripture. Prosperity. Prosperity. That's what they're preaching. They preaching God gonna bless you. That's right. God gonna take care of you. But I'm kind of sending you a warning. Warning coming before destruction. God said it. The soul that sent it, it shall die. Brother Taylor got me on this message. He asked a question Wednesday night in Bible study. Can you be saved and yet not delivered? Oh, oh, oh. I come to tell you now. You cannot be. If you ain't delivered, you, you ain't, ain't saved. saved. Woo. Jesus. What you saved from it, you're not delivered. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. I had to go read, study, and pray. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought about some things. Come on, Pastor. Tell that was a good question. Yeah. Amen. And a lot of folk and the majority of people right now thinking that they are still saved and still sinning. That's right. They ain't delivered. They say, well, I just got habit. I got to get delivered from you. You still got the habit. You ain't saved. Come on, because he will deliver. Because when God saved you, that's what salvation is. How shall you escape if you need luck? So great a salvation. Man, I want to preach to y'all so bad. I want y'all to hear God talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wish God can open some of y'all hearts. Some of y'all shutting me out right here. Uh-huh. That's what's been wrong. You've been formulating your own opinion about come on, that. Come on, come on, come on. The true word of God is right, and everybody else is a liar. That's right, amen. Oh, bless God. God had already spoken. Everything God wants to say, will say, have already been spoken. Yes. And he written it down in a book. Yeah. So he that read it shall understand and run. Yeah. And it's been confirmed. <laughs> That's right. And it's been confirmed. Yes, yes. By others who read it and did what it said and yeah. those who read it and didn't do it. Yeah. How you think you're going to get by they didn't get by? Lord, have mercy. Who be with you? Woo, Jesus. Who told you you weren't going to give an account for what you done said? Lord, have mercy. Those choice words you use. Jesus. The mind, the thing you were thinking about. Jesus. Preach, eating and presumptuous or doing things more than you needed. Preach, preach, preach. Being absent from church, from, from amen, so forth by coming to church. Preach. All of those things are sin. It, it, it more than just one sin in the world. Sex ain't the only sin That's in the right. world. That's right. That's right. You're right. Same-sex marriage ain't the only sin in the world. That's right. I'm preaching to everybody up in here today. All of you right. got sin in your life. You better repent. Yeah. Your preacher telling you God spoke this. Yeah. All unrighteousness is sin. Don't get mad at me. I didn't write it. Amen. <laughs> I'm just saying, just prophesy what he revealed to me. Yeah. Read. God also bearing them witness. God also bear witness. If you neglect so great a salvation, God bear witness. To prove with, that what he said would come to pass. Both with signs and wonders. God confirmed that he spoke it. God did signs 
and wonders. And with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. God did that to prove that he was God and what he spoke will come to pass. God said, you shall lay hand on the sick yes. and they shall recover. Yes. We've seen that. Yes. God spoke and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Sherry just got filled the other day. Yes. Ain't yes. too many getting filled no more. That's right. That's God right. did it according to his own will so yes. that others might know what God said. You shall be filled with the Holy Ghost with the not Holy many days hence yes. after you get saved. Yes. Jesus. Here you've been saved 20 years and still don't have the Holy Ghost. Send your word, God. Send your word. How in the world are you going to be delivered? You ain't got saved yet. Jesus. You repented and you were saved. But the Holy Ghost come as a gift to them that have repented and is saved. Yes. To give you the strength and the ability to do what you can't do but ordinary by yourself. Yes. You walk around here and say, think you got more power than folk glory, who glory, got glory, the Holy glory, Ghost. Glory, glory, you glory. shall receive power, power after the Holy Ghost has come up on you. Yes. Woo. Then you shall be my witness. Yes. You can't witness nothing that you ain't got over nothing. That's right. How God, how you gonna witness to somebody God gonna deliver you from drugs and you ain't got over yours? Right. Lord have mercy. Can't do it. Can't do it. God has spoken. Yes. Ooh, Lord. And he proved he's spoken by doing the verses of miracle. God has raised the dead right here in this church. Yes, he has. Amen. I know Do I have any witness that were present that day? Ooh, Lord. How many of you have been filled with the Holy Ghost right in here? Yeah. In other places, how many of you have been filled? When you see that, that's a miracle. Yes. Amen. God have healed from cancer yes. right here. Right here. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Not the doctor's office. Hallelujah. It's a miracle. Some of you still alive right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Had not it been for God. Had not you been in this place, you would have been dead long time ago. Yeah. I'm trying to tell somebody something. Jesus. I done told you. I know you. Right. Hey, this message I'm preaching today is not popular. Folk don't come to church to hear them preach about sin. But sin is the problem. God is the answer. If you're sinning, you got a problem. It brings about diversities of attitude. Yes. Some of y'all attitude is so bad, I'm going to tell you why. Because sin is still in your life. Yes. You can't forgive. You don't know how to talk to folk. Yes. You don't even know how to re restore folk back. Yes. 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 All you think about is yourself. Lord, Hurt folk feeling and say, well, they just got to get over it. No, you got to get over it. It's time for the word of God to come. It come like a hammer. That's right. Got to knock some of y'all side of y'all hard head. You don't believe nothing. You don't believe God going to come take you out of your bed. You don't believe God will let you die. Just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm the watchman on the wall. God said, warn them for me. Warn the people. And if they don't do no better, then that blood is not required at your hand. I'm delivering my soul today. I already told you you need to repent. Since Sherry has been filled with the Holy Ghost, her attitude doesn't change. She's loving, easy to talk to. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to speak to her. She comes to and says, how you doing, Dad? And kiss me on the cheek. <laughs> yeah. When the Holy Ghost come in one life, it's a change in your living. It's a change, it's a change in the way you talk. Yeah. 
It's a change in the way you go. It's a change in how you eat. Your habit changes. I feel an anointing in here today. I'm trying to tell y'all the truth whether you receive it or not. You're not going to get over your sickness until you repent. It's God judgment time. The Bible says, and judgment begin at the house of God. God bless you, bring the chamber, easy in the check on me. Judgment must begin right. Let God work in you so others can see the good work that God is working through you. Stop being so hard. Act like ain't nobody can't do nothing to you. God can check you up, watch you, and then hang you out the grind. You ain't nothing for God to deal with. What you have won't stop God from putting his hand on you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. What you know and who you know won't help you when God a thing. When God say a thing, you better count on it. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. There ought to be a different. There will be a different. And anybody alive when they hear God, what God is speaking to them, I declare you a talk different. I declare you a walk different. I declare you a be different. Where is the change? Where is it? My God, my Still God. dealing with Mickey Mouse stuff. Amen. Should have got over 20 years ago. Amen. That's the truth. Don't even Lent somebody your wig and they didn't get it back. You still holding a grudge about a wig. Get rid of it. I want y'all to shout today.
Praise with Superintendent Henry J. Bradley Jr., Saturday at 1 p.m., Sunday morning worship at 11.15 a.m., and midweek Bible study Wednesday at 6 p.m. A church in the community, for the community, showing the love of God to the community. Superintendent Henry J. Bradley Jr., Senior Pastor, and Elect Lady Alice Bradley.